guys, in this video, I'm going to build an automated bartending robot, a barbot. It might. Uh, it's fine. It'll, it'll, it'll fix it. Don't worry. Two shots of this, right? Or just one? Just one. Right, yeah, and it's done. Those are good designs, right? But I think there's still some room to make changes. So let me show you what I have got so far. So I have been working with the coal from uh, Lithuanian Coder. I hope I got his name right. It's from Lucas Shlauskas. So uh, in his code, it requires uh, more components, but I want to keep my projects as simple as possible. So I only use the standard 3D printer parts. Let me show you what I've got. This is the RAM board. I use it to control the stepper motor and the servo. So this is the stepper motor and the servo is here. But on the top, I 3D printed a bracket to test its strength. And this is the button I'm going to use. This is a SD card holder. This is the stepper driver. And this is a power jack. It delivers 12 volt to the uh, 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 to the board. And this is the end stop switch. It tells where the stepper motor stops. I already uploaded the sketch to the mega board, so let's put everything together and see if it works. Oh. Right, in order to let you see its movement, I'm going to put a blue tape on it. Now let's hit the power button and see what's gonna happen. So right now the motor is spinning, it's trying to find home. Then I click the end stop, it means it thinks it found home, so it stopped. And here I have the button, it reads off the SD card file. It's, there is a JSON file there, but I'm going to show you later. And it connects the first pin here and the second pin here. Uh, it means no matter what, the first one is screwdriver. So first it's going to pour waka and then orange juice. So let me press it now. So the motor spinning is going to, um, now it's pouring the vodka. And it's spinning again. Now this time it is going for the orange juice. I think I've got all the basic electronics but I won't know until I got the framework set up. So now let's start to build the framework. So I'm working with the uh, Wii slot system. I'm using the open build part. Uh, this is uh, the standard open build part. And usually it's meant for the CNC machine. I get um, a bar, but it's no different uh, no more different than a CNC machine. So this is the wheel and the screw and then put the spacer in on each corner. And on this side I'm going to put the washer and then the knot to tighten it. On the other side, I'm going to use the eccentric nut so I can change the distance between the wheels.
and I'm going to try this on on the XR Wislog uh, aluminum extrusion now. And all the screw I'm using is just M5 screws. Now this is a little bit loose, so I'm going to use my wrench to tighten it a little bit. It feels about right. I'm going to cut some metal for the rest of the frame. Sorry guys, no small clothes in this one because some of the metals here, they're sharp. Now, looks about right, like this, All right? Okay, I'm going to uh, grab the dispenser and see where to put it. So in my head, it should work like this, but I guess it doesn't work. Uh, I'm going to think of something else. I've been playing around with the servo and the frame for the last couple of days, but I don't think the servo is strong in love and it doesn't fit. So I'm going to switch it to the stepper motor instead. And I've got, I got this kit here, so it has all the parts I need. I just need to assemble it for the C-axis.
So um, I found out that I put the wrong screw in. I'm going to change it to a shorter screw. So I have to take all the stuff out and put it back together again. Looks like the screw moves smoothly. Now I'm going to add on the stepper motor. All right, now I'm going to try to mount it on the frame. I know what you're thinking. You must be like, oh, Naomi is so smart, so brilliant. She knows all the engineering stuff. But um, actually, I just uh, copy all of this from the open builds. All this plan is for the CNC router, but I just modify it for my bow box. So they're very similar. And, uh, but I remove the uh, Y axis on here. It's supposed to be, there is a motor here to uh, uh, for spinning but on this one on my bar box there's only x axis and z axis to control and at the end i'm going to put uh all the bills of materials online so that you guys can find the parts and make one for yourself but no i am not a genius i just use other people's code and modify it but if you want to give me all the credit i'm okay with that too
what I have here is the end stop is standard parts for a 3D printer or maybe for CNC machine really nothing special it tells uh, the stepper motor uh, where is the end and then it stops that's why it's called end stop and uh, the only part I did for this is I designed this in Tinkercad and 3D printed it's a holder for the end stop it has some uh, screw hole inside oh put it here this one is clear there's just some screw hole here and I'm going to uh, put it on the top and then I guess I could mount it to my barbell flame later. You hear that click click sound? It knows where it means it knows where to stop and it looks like it works. I'm going to add these cables for the stepper motors and the sensors and again they're all uh, just 3D printed parts so they come like this. Uh, you, I guess you can make if uh, make them yourself too but I'm just going to connect them now. Now I'm going to add the drain dispenser for the flame. The one I'm using is from Make in China. It's just the cheap one. Uh, most bar back they use the good one that made in UK. And for my budget, I think this is more suitable. And I want to see if that's uh, that will work for my project. So let's unbox it and put it on. So this is what it looks like. For one set, there is three in a row. And this is the, I think the tap, is that what it called? The, for uh, pouring drinks. Yeah. First, let's screw this down. The, I should put it over here.
Looks like it's all set. Let's test it out. Let's turn on the power. Okay, looks like it's homing C and then it's going to the X axis. Okay, all right, let's try to pour a drink. Okay. It, it's not supposed to do that. Um, it's supposed to go to the end and then pour a drink. It seems something is wrong with the wearables in Arduino. I thought it's all set, but um, let, let me go, go back and check the configuration file. So on the left, I have the conv configuration file and on the right, I have the uh, Arduino sketch. So let me see. I think the problem is the step motor. For, let, let us try to uh, change the max speed to um, 1,500 1, and then uh, let's hit save and see what happened. Then let's upload it. Alright, let's uh, upload it now. Okay, let's try one more time. I'll change that. I'm sure this time I could probably get it right. Okay, let's again homing to X axis. No, 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 no. It's not. It just doesn't. It just is not right. Um. It's not smooth and it's wobbly, so probably too fast. I still have to dial it down a little bit. Okay, I mean, uh, I will, I will change. Let's change. So let's go back. And the same. I still think the problem is this. Let's try one more time. If time this time doesn't work, and something else must be wrong. Usually is this. Okay, now let's save again. And plug in the USB. I upload the file. Right. One more time. Okay. It's definitely a little bit smoother than last time, and I think it's okay for now. Yeah, I'm not sure it's perfect or not, but for me, it looks fine this time. Uh, but obviously, it's not hitting the tail at the right position, so it's neither changing the wearables again or I can physically change the end stop. It's probably the end stop. So let's try to change the end stop first. Let's stop uh, the stepper motor. Let's turn it off. And let me get my uh, Allen key. Where's my Allen key? So far. Okay, now let's. Uh, See if I adjust it to the right position. A little bit better, but still, um wrong so how much
little bit better. Now what I have here is just water. I'm going to use it to test the high for the rings and I'm going to put it on um, this one because it's right in the pocket. So take this off, let me. What I do is I stuck it. It's not touching the tab at all. So okay. So the it's wrong. The let's let's um make it a little bit higher. Stop that. Now let's try it again. to be go uh it is to be a little bit higher it's not strong enough if it's just touching a little bit so. Looks like that's it. This seems good. Now let's try some real alcohol. So the first drink we're testing is screwdriver. I've got vodka and orange juice here. Let me put the vodka down and uh, put the orange juice in first. And I got the cup. Let me Okay, and I'm going to open the vodka on camera so that you know it's real. This is not water. And we're going to put it on the first tab. a lot of alcohol.
give me that robot. Let's give it a taste. It's, it's not as good as I imagined. I thought it would turn out great. <laughs> Maybe the orange juice is wrong. It tastes, it just doesn't taste right. So I'm going to work on my recipe. See you in part two.